all, if you can't lay down with somebody and create a baby and get up and parent the right way, you don't need to be laying down with somebody. Nope. Period. <laughs> so, my thing is, that's the truth. Is if y'all gonna go y'all own separate ways, the best thing to do is to learn how to get along with each other. The best thing to do is to learn how to co-parent the best way you know how in order that your kids can grow up in a healthy environment. What's, What's up, up, Incredible fam? fam? Welcome back to another episode of The, the Incredible, Incredible Scots. On tonight's episode, y'all, we are having some cucumbers, rice, and sausage. sausage. And the star of the show tonight is that delectable, delicious, also scrumptious, be love smack licious mouth socks. Got it. So, anyways, y'all, y'all already know what the deal is. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome to the Incredible Fam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified every single time we do what? Drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody to tell somebody that the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. We get ready to get into this intro so we can get into this good old food. Check the intro. Sit back and run and yeah, it's about the time. Matter of fact, subscribe, hit that bell, be notified. You're officially rocking with incredible skies. Go ahead and tell somebody to tell somebody. Go ahead and tell somebody to tell somebody. Go ahead and tell somebody to tell somebody that you're officially rocking with incredible skies. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. Alright y'all, we are back and we are ready to get into this food. We get ready to say grace so we can go ahead on and eat. Father God, we thank you for this food as we're about to receive it for the nourishment of our bodies. For Christ's sake, amen. Alright. <laughs> What's that? The Chinese? Uh... Yes, I guess so. They. Now, Daddy's uh, B-Love sauce has a little different consistency than mine. mine. It came from the same pot, but I just took his out at a different time. And I cooked mine down a little longer because I like mine thicker like this. It may so I, I got a I got a question. It may yeah. sound kind of I don't know if it's gonna sound kind of gross, but have you ever tried to dip sushi in in be love sauce? Yes. I mean, I guess that would be the same thing. I different. thought about that. Like, I, I wonder would. if you ever. I wonder if we ought to try that. I would. With the sushi, dip it in there and see how it tastes. I and would. subscribers, what do y'all think? Comment down below. Don't what do y'all think? Don't to me. I would. Cause I mean, I, I mean, I know it's not too many people that's big on sushi like that, but I always like it. Just I thought about it. Like, hmm, I wonder how it would taste if I dip the sushi in. You know, I do the California roll because I can't I think, uh, eat. I, you know, I uh, think you would because you dip, you putting your rice in it. Uh -huh. You putting cucumbers in it. Then um, the sauce is made for a crab boil, so. It's all crab, cucumber, and rice in a um, sushi roll. So, I think, I think so. it'll be. I, yeah. Y'all know I what? We're gonna you. have to do that. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it'll be good. I just thought about it. You know, it just came across my mind. I definitely would. Anyway, it is Thursday, so y'all know what that means. It is. Friday Junior. <laughs> Friday Junior. Which means ain't no well, I was gonna say ain't no more work this week after tomorrow, but that's a lie because I gotta work this weekend. And y'all, it's gonna be so cold tomorrow. Oh man. It's that's cold how, now. It's cold. It started now. It's freezing outside. It's gonna be below zero in the morning. I know it. It's going to be cold. I'm talking about cold, y'all. Y'all know it wouldn't be an incredible Scotch video if I didn't waste <laughs> some on my shirt. <laughs> Anyways, how was you guys' day? 
My day was pretty darn good. Mine's too. I worked for a few hours. And uh, that's about it. I got my job done. And got, out, and got out of there on time. So that's a good thing. What y'all doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know what we doing. We was gonna go to St. Louis, but uh, that didn't turn out the way we thought it would. So. But we still gonna do something. I don't know what we gonna do. Y'all ain't had this sauce in a minute. When the last time we had this, when we did the. Uh, the collab with. Uh, mm -hmm, last time we had uh, the uh, sauce was when we did the uh, JJ's Fish and Chicken. Oh, yeah. That's the last time we had it. Mm -hmm. It's on point, I'm telling you. Got me some good old water. Gotta have the water. <laughs> water good for you. I got the coldest water bottle. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know that ain't the coldest water bottle. No. Now, I just seen some cold water bottles with the. Uh, With the what? And got the words written on the side of them. Like the ones that's like, they like that, but a little bigger. And it comes with the uh, with the lid, the top to it. You twist it off. Oh. I just seen some tight water bottles. Okay, so I had to add a little bit of water to mine because mine was too thick. Like, I mean, too thick. I like it with a little consistency. You know, a little bit of that... Chunky, chunky to it, but that was a little too chunky. All right, so, okay. So we were gonna play a game. However, since it's just us, let's talk about something. Let's talk. It's been this video. What video? I don't tell you. There's been a video floating around Facebook. And basically the video shows a mama cutting the hair out of this baby's head. She got braids. So you can hear the daddy, who I guess is the person that's recording. You can hear him like, that don't make no sense. She cutting my baby hair out of her head. Mm. And that's hurting my baby feelings and stuff like that. And my mom was like, no. Because I told you. Uh, I told you. Don't be having nobody braiding her hair. I'll braid my baby hair. Mm. So, apparently the hair, is, it must be weaved in the baby's head. Because I know she ain't just cutting the baby hair like that. So she cutting her out, the daddy, you know, talking stuff. So she talking stuff. And actually, the daddy ain't even really talking stuff. He just like, that's sad. That's hurting my baby feelings, stuff like that. The baby just boohooing and crying. So, anyway, so the video, I guess for the past couple of days, it's been floating around social media or whatever. I'm going to try to find a clip of it so I can let y'all see it. It does all so bad I can see your hair. Your hair pretty. Yeah. My baby said nobody did be crying. I don't care. I told you, stop playing with me. That motherfucker cut my baby hair out of here. So Look at that now shit. Wait. That shit sad. Hurt now my wait. baby feeling. Now wait. Cause you don't hurt the dad, you hurt her feelings. You hurt my baby feeling. My baby sat there for two hours. I do my own girl hair. My baby sat there for two hours. So anyway, I'm probably gonna put the clip somewhere right there or down here and I'll let y'all see. But anyway, so I guess because the mama had got so much backlash about it, she posted another video. Mm. Boy, you saw a picture. I ain't gonna lie, it was cute. I ain't say it was ugly. It was braided real cute. It just was tight as hell and I ain't do it. Number one, number one reason on real petty daddy. 
I didn't do it, and I ain't tell him to let nobody do it. So the second number one reason is that what that what Shauna made me cut it out. I love to see that it was too tight. So she posted another video, I guess, explaining why she did what she did. So basically, what she was saying is, and I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. I'm gonna show y'all the pictures of the baby, and I'm gonna let y'all see the video. So basically, she said she did what she did because the baby hair was too tight. And she didn't want uh, nobody else doing her baby hair. Mm. Now, here's my opinion. Matter of fact, before I get my opinion, what, my you she... what do you feel about the situation? And I mean, as a whole, yeah. because I really feel like the situation is bigger than just what she did. I feel like the situation has a lot to do with the way that black people co-parent after they ain't together no more. So what do you think? Well, I think it was a form of a, I think she might have did it out of jealousy. Cause she didn't, you know, cause she can't do as good as the other lady, whoever did her the daughter's hair. You know, it could be any other, you know, it could be all kind of reasons why uh she cut her baby's hair, you know. But I think it was out of uh insecurity and jealousy. That's what I believe. I think she did it like purposely, like spitefully, you know. Uh, so I know she did it purposely and spitefully. Mm -hmm. I don't think she thought that she was going to get as much backlash as she did. And now don't, don't get me wrong. It was some mothers on there that was defending what she was doing, like, you know, if it was me, I would have did this and all of that stuff. And, you know, teach your own, everybody got their own different situation. Right. However, I've stressed before how I have, and which I ain't never had this issue. I never had the whole baby mama, baby daddy drama. But I have older brothers that, you know, they have multiple kids with different women. So you get, you know, the whole, you get your brother side, the male right. side. But then you also, and like my brothers will tell you, I'm the type of person that I'm not just going to side with my brothers just because they my brothers. Mm -hmm. If they wrong, I'm going to be like, now you know you wasn't right for that. You know you ain't right. But if they ain't if they ain't wrong, I'm not going to be like, because I'm a woman, I'm going to take the woman's side. That just ain't me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so what I've noticed is that really, to be quite honest, if, and I hate to say it because I'm black, but it's our people that, you know, the black woman, it's like we have this hostile type of personality or this hostile way that we go about dealing with our baby daddies once they're not our boyfriends anymore. And I don't know if it's just the whole persona of the whole, and I've said it before, the whole Jody and Yvette. Right. Uh, <laughs> Hello, you Christina, you know, the baby boy, baby Jody boy. and Yvette. <laughs> like, if we ain't together, I got to cause some drama in your life. But I'll just be feeling like, don't nobody have time for that because at the end of the day, the person is, or the people that are going to suffer the most behind their behavior mm -hmm. is the children. It's the children, that's right. So my outlook on the whole video was like this. If you did not feel comfortable with somebody else being in your baby head, you could have said, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this. I thank you for, you know, getting right. her hair done and everything. But I don't feel comfortable with anybody else doing her hair. Especially, and I could get it. You know, if it's a woman, I'm the type of person that if me and my husband wasn't together and he had somebody else, I would want to know who this woman is. I wouldn't just want somebody being interactive in my child's life if I can't, you know, know who they are. Mm -hmm. And that's out of respect. But I don't know if the person that did to her was somebody at the shop. I think it might have been the Africans that did it. So, it lets you know that it wasn't even that, that she felt like, oh, he got a female in my baby head. I think she, I think she just wanted to just be mean to the yep, man. Just be, yep, just, uh, spiteful to be spiteful to the man. Yep. And at the end of the day, that man went home too. <laughs> so he probably went home with his freshly cut head. And went to bed. Yeah. But now your baby's sitting up there 
with the brains cut out of her head that's crying. Messed up. That's messed and so up. the person that looks like the culprit to the baby is you. Mm. I don't know. I just feel like people waste so much energy on negativity when I don't understand why it cannot ever be like why can't you just get along with your baby daddy? Why does it always have to be the whole persona of we beefing? How come it, all, it, it seems like it always be like that? It's it, whack. It's How come your baby daddy can't just get along with your boyfriend and everybody co-parent all together instead of it being like, you know, the baby daddy or the, even in the in the case of you know baby mamas? Because I'm not just laying it all at women's feet or men's feet. But how come you can't just if you can't get in touch with the baby daddy or the baby mama, how come you can't be able to call the husband or the wife or the girlfriend or the boyfriend right. and say, hey, I'm going to be a little late picking up the kids. You think you could swing by and pick them up? And y'all can't have that type of understanding. Like, I just right. think it's a waste of energy. It and is. then you sit up and you have your kids because your children love you. You have your kids sitting up trying to pick sides of who yeah. they, you know, agree with. Or who they want to protect. Like, I just, that's, it, it's that's whack crazy. to me. It is. And it goes on every day. It goes on every day. You'll be amazed, man. That's, you know. I don't know. I, that's crazy, though. I just feel like, you know, a lot of people, which is, this is one thing that I've always said. People feel like that because I'm married, that my circumstances or it's, better, it's easy. or easier, no, it ain't. and stuff like that, but that's not the truth, so I get it, when a single woman hear a married woman like, well, why you gotta just be beefing, just, why can't you just get along, because of course, I don't understand the trials and the daily tribulations of a single mother, because I've never been a single mother, I've always, as long as I've had a child, I've had a husband. We've done this together. However, what I do know is, is that if I wasn't married and me and Jalan decided to go our own separate ways, number one, my love for my child would cause me to love him. And this is one thing that I've always said. If you don't like me, or if you feel some type of way towards me, don't ever ask me if you can you know, watch my child or oh, no, uh -uh. Ooh. anything because <laughs> there's no way in the world mm -mm. that you could possibly dislike me, but like my child, mm -hmm. it ain't no possible. It's not possible because my child is an extension of me. So I say mm -hmm. all of that to say this, how could I possibly have hate in my heart towards him when Zion is an extension of him? Yep. And so my love for her causes me to love him. If we wasn't together, then my thing is, is I wouldn't want to see, I wouldn't want to see him hurt or I wouldn't want to put any type of pain on him to inflict pain on him to hurt him because right. I know that the first thing that that would do would be to hurt my child. That would hurt my kid because that's her daddy and she loves him. So I think that these parents out here, they not really recognizing the fact that at the end of the day, yeah, sometimes it's, it's, a lot to deal with certain people with different personalities and stuff like that but at the end of the day as a parent first of all if you can't lay down with somebody and create a baby and get up and parent the right way you don't need to be laying down with somebody nope. period <laughs> so my thing is that's the truth is if y'all gonna go y'all own separate ways the best thing to do is to learn how to get along with each other the best thing to do is to learn how to co-parent the best way you know how in order that your kids can grow up in a healthy environment. Because if they at home and they hearing the mama all like, yeah, because that nigga ain't no good. And then they go to the daddy house and the daddy like, yeah, that B, she a rat and she a thought and stuff like that. Then the first thing that the kid is doing is like, okay, who do I need to be in agreement right. with? When you ain't got to be in agreement with neither one of them. Because them your parents both equally. So you should love them equally. Like, I think that's whack as a mug to put them kids in a predicament to have to choose between their parents. That's wrong. It happens, man. It, it does. 
It happens every single day. Mm -hmm. And it's sad because I'm not saying that it don't happen in other um, cultures, but it's the African-American culture that it happens so frequently in. Yeah. You tell the truth on that. It, it's sad, though, man. It's really, really sad. And then, too, that's why you got... Sometimes out of the situation like that, you have the kids growing up hating their dad. You know, it always be like that. Like, they're more closer to the mom than they is their dad. Especially men. You know, they grow up, they get older... My dad ain't never been there. He used to, him and my mom used to argue. You know, it, it, kids remember, they're going to remember that. Even when they get older and grown, they're going to have the memories in, in their mind of how, oh man, my dad and mom used to fight every night and I hated that. They used to argue, cuss each other out. Kids remember that. I mean, but even with the ones that their parents don't live in the same household, I just be like, how in the world? Could you possibly be arguing this much with somebody that, here is my mentality. The only way you can contact me is via phone. <laughs> if we ain't together, it's via phone, the internet, or if in the event that you're my child's father, is during a drop off. So if I can't hold me together long enough for me to say, here's your child, have a good day. Why? Mommy loves you. Then that means that there's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's something literally psychologically wrong if you can't put yourself up under subjection long enough to make your child feel comfortable in a switch off that don't take number five minutes. That's just how I feel. Yeah, that's crazy. But a lot of people, they don't think like that. You know, they, they just don't. And then you got to think, it's pretty much how they've been raised. You know, with the mentality like that, it's just, you know, because everybody don't, they don't just don't. don't I've think. literally heard women, I've had friends that have literally said that they like that kind of stuff. Like, they like the whole arguing Drama. with dudes and the dude put his hands on her and like stuff like I Grab them by their neck, girl, look. Uh, <laughs> look, look, girl. Look. I ain't never been the type of person that could sit, like, I just, I can't. After, after so much, like, back and forth arguing, it's like I'm so exhausted with it. Like, I, mm -mm, I can't do it. It's too much for me. It's too much wasted energy. It is. Anybody? I'm a man, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a guy, so I wouldn't be able to handle it. Like, you know what I'm saying? She throwing stuff at me, and we tussling in the house, and... Almost every day we get in. I can't, but people live. Some people like relationships. Look like that. Mm -mm. Got glasses. You know, I had my uncle. My uncle, he was in a relationship like that. I spent the night on my uncle' house one night, y'all. I kid y'all not. Oh, my uncle, my uncle uh, Scotty Rock. He was in a relationship like that with this crazy lady, and y'all, I'm talking about. I woke up, they was fighting, like, I'm talking about fighting. Tore up the kitchen, china cabinet broken, she throwing bit, and you know, back in the day, you know, them old glasses, they was thick, like, they was them thick glasses. Why was you talking about Ooh, she th she threw that, hit them in the head with it, and I mean, they tore that kitchen up. I was like, I was a kid. <sighs> I couldn't, I was just sitting there looking like, wow. And then her son, the other little guy, he was sitting there crying. And I was just looking like, like I was in shock. I didn't know what to say. I, I couldn't cry because I was so in shock by seeing, the, you know, the situation. I'm like, man, they just like squabbing up in here. That's sad. Man. That's really <laughs> sad. One thing that man, as a crazy. kid... We didn't see a lot of was a lot of our parents doing a lot of fighting, and cussing mm -hmm. each other out and all that type of stuff. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna try to sit here and act like men's a lot don't have disagreements and stuff like that. But 
to go so far as to be sitting up calling each other all kind of names and don't tell her. Mm -mm. That's too far. That's taking it to the. Uh, that's that's too far. And I definitely ain't gonna mm -hmm. take it far enough for me to put Zion off in it. Mm -mm. No, uh, yeah, that's another thing too. They put the kids off in it. Like they ain't got nothing to do with that. All they cutting their baby hair like that. That was bogus. Yeah, that wasn't right. And you could see, cause dude had posted. A video of the little girl before the event happened. And she so why did he let her? Like he didn't try to stop her or nothing? So she probably would have stabbed him with them scissors. Yeah, you ain't lying. Or call the police and say that he hit her. And that, that's all a female got to do. I mean, that's all she could do. You know, oh, he put his hands on her. Oh, he going to jail. You could just tell that baby was so happy about getting her hair done. And she looked so cute. And I'm going to put the video up here. And I'm going to let y'all see. That baby hair one tight. She just said that. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how little girls feel. They'll tell you, Zion will tell me in a minute if her hair too tight. Yep, she sure would. She'll let it be known in a heartbeat. <laughs> Child, I don't know what to say about these people. I was going to say women, but these people. Man, this, this, it, it's, it's like drama is more popular it's it well i'm gonna put it like this negativity is more popular than positive you know what i'm saying people love negativity they some i ain't gonna say all people do but people feed off negativity that's what they love and then you know they they sit up and and watch them the reality shows love and hip-hop and how they be fighting mm -hmm. on there and how they be go cussing each other out. I mean, and they getting paid to promote the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a um an essay for this class. And basically the assignment was that I had to basically try to pitch a TV show to this network. Mm. So the TV show that I was pitching, it's going to sound crazy. The TV show I was pitching was called The Incredible Scots. So in the essay, I was talking about how that nowadays television, first of all, reality TV is just where it's at. It's every channel. It's a reality TV show, whether it's mm -hmm. a reality food show, a reality girl show, a reality singing show. It's just a reality TV. That's what's popping right now. Reality. And so what I was saying was, is that with the fact that these reality shows are so popular now, you see in so much of people's lives that it's causing you not only to see the good, but it's causing you to see the bad yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking about how... It's sad that these children don't have positive role models to look up to on television no more. Oh. Because when we was kids, we had family shows like uh, Family Matters. Family Matters. E even Full House. Even though the mama had passed away and there was no mother in the house, it was right. it was refreshing to see the three friends come together and raise them kids the way that they did. Mm -hmm. It was still a family unit. We had the Cosby show and stuff like that. But it's like that as time has gone on, it's like they have removed the image of family and just replaced it with this dysfunction yeah, as far as like this, oh, this whole baby daddy, baby mama, mm -hmm. all of that type of stuff. And this is what is appeasing to these kids. And this is why you got these young women that's growing up that's 25, 26 years old and they don't know nothing other then just let me argue with this dude uh, or the same thing with the guy. Like, they mm -hmm. see each other as the enemy. Mm-hmm, the enemy, yep. Man, that's wild. It's like that family structure, uh, the positive, you know, it's like this is just gone out the window. It's not there no more. Mm-mm. Y'all know what? Let me tell y'all something. No loyalty or nothing. Can I have one of them cucumbers? Tell I don't want them. I was just getting ready to say this. <laughs> Ever since I did that, uh, that Casey Connection uh, cucumber challenge, 
I just can't eat cucumbers no more like that. They make me feel sick. That's actually good. It is good, it's but soft. I I can't do it right now. Y'all. I got so much sauce on my shirt. Hopefully y'all can see it. But yeah, man, that's it's it's real. It's crazy. It's real. It's crazy. And you hate to see these children raised like this because they exposed to so much. Then, mm -hmm. because people raise their children in that type of environment, then you have people like us. Like, for instance, I had talked about before how my baby came home from school and she was talking about how she um, saw two little girls in the bathroom with her. Now, my baby's six. Mm -hmm. Two six. little girls in the bathroom with her that's in her class kissing. That threw me for a loop right and there. I said, oh, wow. It's crazy because this type of dysfunctional behavior that these children are being brought up around, it's not only just in the home anymore. It's spilling out into the schools which in turn is spilling out to other people's children because I don't teach my baby no stuff, no mess like that. No. She don't watch the stuff on TV. Mm -hmm. She don't, she don't see the stuff in her house. What she see as a family unit is mommy, daddy, and child. So yeah. it's unfair to those of us that choose to raise our kids in a certain manner that you know what I'm saying. Like it's unfair it because is. I know that the stuff is here in this world. You know, certain things are here out in this world. But let me be the person that explain this to my baby. Let me be the person that say, well, hey, some people do this and some people do that. But this is what we do. But you, they not even giving us a chance to teach our children what's accept acceptable to us. The people, child, look, these people out here just doing what they want to do. And they, they don't care do. who it affects. Nope. They don't care who it, uh, like you said, they don't care who it affects. They just going to do it. And it's just sad, man. It really is. Anyways, y'all. This was bomb. Yeah, this was really good. Yes. We got some leftover sauce. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit in my bowl. A little bit. So, I'm going to put this in the freezer. Mm. And freeze him on up. Oh, they grease all on their knuckles. Man. Look at his hand. <laughs> Look at that cow. And all that grease, something like, like we're punching the grease. Anyways, y'all, y'all chime in and let us know what y'all think about this video. Cause comment down below. To me, it was just a little bit too much. It was too much. And it went viral, like yes, it's all over the internet. And I get it, you know, sometimes every day ain't peaches and cream, mm -hmm. you know, when you have to deal with people. But, yeah, child, that was, people, just, mm -mm. that was just too much. That remind me of uh, the video with the, the woman that went up to the school and whooped the little boy. Oh, yeah, that was too much. It was too much. And she had the teachers terrified. And now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Do not Man. get me wrong. When I when I was a kid, if I was clowning in school, let me tell you something about Maxine Riley. She would have got me. Point blank and period. However, the way that girl beat that boy like that, and then no else like she was she jumped at the little boy. The teacher even jumped. She was like, Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I was like, Girl, you doing too much. Yeah, you, Somebody gonna call DCFS mm -hmm. on you. I'm she had it. that baby all up around his neck, pulling him down the it's gonna be mad you. I don't want to say the word I really want to say. The N I G G A word. Right. Grab him by his little shirt. I mean, I was like, man. Oh, baby, and he just looked like he was so embarrassed, and I know he was. Then she made him go back in the class. I mean, the cafeteria. She came and gra dragged him up out that cafeteria. In front of them, in front of them, all the mother babies. She dragged him up out of there. Man. That's sad. Well, anyways, y'all, make sure y'all comment down below and give us y'all 
outlook, opinion, um, on what's and I mean, hey. You could be going through some baby mama, baby daddy drama of your own. Mm -hmm. I mean, if y'all feel like she was justified in what she did, then explain it. Explain right. it to me to help me understand because right. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we appreciate you guys for hanging out with us on another episode of The Incredible Scots. We love you guys so very much. So much. Y'all already know what the deal is. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome to the Incredible Fam. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit the bell to be notified every single time we drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody. To tell somebody. To tell somebody. That the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. We absolutely, positive, love you guys so very much.